Hello there. Occasionally in our professional lives, we need to make tough decisions. The nature of the difficulty, of course, depends on the level of responsibility you have uh, and the nature of the consequences of the decisions. For individual contributors or middle managers, usually it is about switching jobs, choosing to go back to university or perhaps even starting your own business. For senior managers, it could be a business related decision where the ultimate objective is to protect bottom line results. Employees can use a simple technique to make tough decisions. Uh, for example, number one, identify the reason for a change. Do you want to see jobs because you do not get along with your manager? Uh, is it because you do not foresee career growth in the organization? Or is it because you feel that you are underpaid? Identifying the key motivator or trigger point for the decision will let you deal with your options more clearly. Number two, be honest with yourself. Look at your trigger points and your options as neutrally as possible. Talk to a trusted friend or mentor if possible. Many decisions can be triggered by emotional responses. Give yourself time to understand the situation from a practical standpoint before you start, before you start making decisions that you may possibly regret in the future. Number three, weigh the pros and cons for each option and do not just count the number of pros and cons. You could, for example, try putting points to each pro or con based on how significantly it affects you. Using our example of switching jobs, uh, if location is more important to you than benefits, allocate two points to location and only one point to benefits. Number four, make sure uh, you look at the entirety of the option and have not cherry picked the aspects that you want to look at. However, the purpose of this talk is not to provide a fit all solution, but to talk about the qualities that are required for making tough choices. Let me tell you a story. Few years back, I was with my daughter sitting in the mall playing a word game together on my cell phone. A boy same age of my daughter asked me if he can join as well. I offered him a chair and we all three started playing word game. One of the words that I made was death and my daughter said I don't like this word. But the answer that the little boy gave to my daughter was a great lesson. He said it does not matter if you like this word or not but if you want to go to the next level you have to accept it. Although my daughter does not like the word death but immediately showed her emotions and concerns and the boy showed his decisiveness. Both kids were so clear in their minds and he spoke out loudly. That showed the attitude of realizing and accepting the situation immediately and showing courage to accept it, which are the main quality of decision making. I always try to relate my personal experiences with the work and I found this event very relatable in corporate life. Employees want to make timely decision, but most of the time they cannot because of the boundaries set for them either by internal procedures or by cultural and or hierarchical behavior. Executives do no better. In both cases, the business suffers. The biggest hurdle of timely decision making from the employees and from the management is nothing but fear. Be there for their job security, credibility or their perception of self-integrity. What decision makers do not realize is that their fears come alive only because of putting off decisions that inevitably have to be made either by them or for them. What employees need to do is to come out of the fear by accepting the situation, evaluating within the given circumstances and make decisions. It can be hard, but making no decision is the worst decision. What, expect, what executives need to do is to provide an atmosphere where employees feel confidence of making decisions. This can be achieved by giving trust to the employees, uh, not just by saying, but empower them. Engage people in decision making process in a constructive manner will make a difference in organization. Ignoring people cannot be an option. It will create demotivation and mistrust. After all, 
as little boy has said if we employees or executives have to move forward or go to the next level we have to accept the given situation and get over it as soon as possible we may become the part of the problem if we keep living in a status quo as sir winston churchill said fear is a reaction courage is a decision we all need to show courage thank you i hope you find this topic relatable and will come out of fear which is most of the time is fear of unknown why don't you share your experience with us please reach out to me on the address given in my about page if you have any question please send me an email and i will respond my next video will be about expecting something impossible to achieve till then be safe